Striking numbers today within just two years. More than a thousand businesses in our state went out of business. Stella Sun joins us live now. And Stella, many of these were locally owned. Yeah, Darlene, unfortunately, many of these businesses that did shut down were locally owned restaurants. Now, the Range Cafe behind me tells me they closed two locations during the pandemic. Whether you want something sweet or something savory, any time of day, the Range Cafe serves whatever you're craving. Without our customers, wouldn't be able to survive. That's Matt DeGregory, the co-owner of the Range Cafe. People say, you got tons of business, you're doing great. Well, no, we're not doing great. He says customers are coming back, but the shadow of the pandemic is still dark. We lost about 1,100 restaurants during the pandemic, and that's 18% of the restaurants in New Mexico. Carol White with the New Mexico Restaurant Association says they pulled gross receipts tax data from the state's taxation and revenue department. The data shows from December 2019 to December 2021, communities across New Mexico lost many full service restaurants. Restaurants come and go. They go out of business at a higher rate than most businesses. Some of these restaurants could have been struggling before the pandemic. Some could be the owners retiring or people switching careers. But this many restaurants shutting down is not normal, says the New Mexico Restaurant Association. We spoke to an economist to double check that. A series of challenging situations that have just happened back to back to back. You had the pandemic, you had layoffs of workers, you had challenging rehiring those workers, and then you've had run ups in prices across the board. As restaurants keep getting hit, DeGregory says there's things we can all do. The local money going into local restaurants stays local, and that right now is the most important thing. While nearly 1,100 restaurants did shut its doors from December 2019 to December 2021, we should also recognize that 4,700 restaurants did survive. And many of you guys have probably noticed that many new restaurants have popped up as we continue on this road to recovery. Reporting live from the Range Cafe downtown, I'm Stella Sun, KOET Action 7 News. Stella, thank you. And the New Mexico Restaurant Association says these pandemic related impacts have just been exacerbated by supply chain shortages and increases in costs.